and my colleague Sonia Rincon getting a little bit of natural air conditioning there in Coney Island, sitting at 83 degrees right now. How does it feel out there, Sonia? It feels more like July than September, but it is the last summer holiday, so it's the last of that summer carefree feeling. And if you wanted to cram in all of the fun and tasty things that you associate with summer, this would be the spot. We're going back to school tomorrow. So. And so for these college friends, it's the last day to not have to think about school and get to do summer things. And just walk the boardwalk, get some color on the beach, and dip our feet in the water. The beach is packed with umbrellas and tents on a scorcher of a Labor Day. As visitors wonder where the summer went and why so many weekends were rainy, now the long days of sandcastles and sizzling summer treats are winding down on the boardwalk. Families and friends are trying to make a few more summer memories. Oh my God, it was so fun. <laughs> I was still in shock, you know, when we're literally shaking. Like Mel from Brazil, who just rode the cyclone for the first time, checking it off her list. And Jeff, who's reliving the memory of riding it as a Brooklyn kid. The ride's the same. Yeah, it's always great. Yep. Gets better with age, though. <laughs> his family brought him back down memory lane for his birthday. He went where he lived, his school, you know, where he played in the courtyards, and then to come back to the cyclone where he, where he rode as a kid at, on his 65th birthday is pretty amazing. Coney Island, definitely the place to come for nostalgia. And with hot weather for the next few days, as you heard, there is definitely still some time to hang on to summer. The city beaches like this one are open until September 10th, and the rides like Luna Park are open all week long until they switch over to a weekend-only schedule for fall.